So if you're looking for a great place to live in the Tampa Bay area, well in today's video I'm gonna give you my top nine picks. These neighborhoods have something to offer everyone. From the fantastic beaches to top rated schools, the dining, the shopping, and the outdoor life you just can't miss and we're gonna get after it right now. All right, so as we kick off this list today, I just wanna set some ground rules and let you know that this is not a, you know, in particular order list, meaning that the first one is not the first best and the ninth isn't the, the least best, right? Because it would just be so hard to do. There are some cities on here that I absolutely love. And to be quite honest with you, they all have something to offer everyone and it would just be too hard and unfair to say one is the best and one is the worst. And that's only my opinion. You know, your ideal lifestyle is the only thing that truly matters. So when we talked about this list today, I really just wanted to share it with you so you could get some insights and start digging down the rabbit hole, so to speak. Also, I wanted to let you know that my home city and my home beach are not on this list and it killed me not to do it, but I wanted to keep it impartial. Now, I will share those with you at the end. So keep in mind that if you stay to the end, I'm gonna share where I live and what I believe is the best beach because it's the one we moved here for, but this list is for you. So I wanted to share that. And if we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed real estate agent and a team leader here and I help people just like you buy, sell, relocate and invest here in the Tampa Bay area. We also make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. And however you got to get a hold of us, whether that's through phone call, text message, DM on Instagram, heck, there's even a link to my calendar down below. So if you wanted to reach out and make a connection, feel free to do that. And oh, by the way, while you're down there, do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button and click the little bell. That way you can be notified every time we drop a new video just like this. That way you don't have to go chasing them down. All right, so the first one on our list is Dunedin, Florida. And I gotta be honest with you, this one is very near and dear to my heart because when Kate and I decided we were gonna relocate our family from Detroit to Tampa, Florida, this was actually the city that we tried to move to. We wrote offers on two separate houses. Neither one of them got accepted. Um, this was before I was selling real estate down here, but it was a competitive market. And this is all the way back to 2018. And there's good reason for it. You know, Dunedin is a gorgeous marina town that butts right up to the Gulf of Mexico. Main Street, you know, as, you, as you're coming down it, there's people walking everywhere, beautiful restaurants. There's this gorgeous Mexican restaurant there called Casatina. It's absolutely incredible. The food's amazing. And then it dead ends right at the marina. There's a a park down there every year they do a, a beer and barbecue festival there and it's just this gorgeous area you've got honeymoon island up to the north um, it was actually just voted the number one place in america to retire but here's the cool thing when i was down there and when we go down there because we go there often it does not feel like a retirement community because it's not it's very family friendly there's young professionals there there's retirees there it's just a beautiful place the uh, toronto blue jays have spring training there you got td ballpark there it's just a wonderful community and if you're thinking about buying a home there, right now the average price is right around $452,000. So it's not far off the, the average you know, home in Tampa Bay here. So it's a great place to check out. Number two on this list is St. Petersburg, Florida. And St. Pete is a vibe, man. I did not know how cool this city was. When we came down here, it really wasn't our radar. You know, people had spoke about it, but I had never spent any time. We weren't one of the families that came down and hung out in St. Pete as kids. I didn't know anything about it. But when we came here, man, I was completely blown away at number one, the diversity, the culture in the community. There's so much art. And when you are in downtown St. Pete, the city just feels alive, man. You got First Fridays down there where all the, you know, the clubs and restaurants are open. You know, there's so much walkability in the downtown area. Literally, you can walk for a mile and a half and hit bars and restaurants and shops both ways i mean it's absolutely stunning you got the saint pete pier which is incredible you've got you know um the tampa bay rays who play downtown you've got the rowdies you know professional soccer league that plays downtown as well there's shopping and dining and entertainment in the dolly museum it's just an incredible area it is definitely worth checking out and saint pete is booming i mean they're they're building condos and high rises everywhere and if you're considering making a move here right now the average home price is right around three hundred and seventy thousand dollars. you can spend 
spend as much money as you want, y'all. We just did a video on this where someone bought a six and a half million dollar condo on one St. Pete overlooking the bay. It's absolutely incredible. Check out St. Petersburg. All right, the next one on our list is St. Pete Beach. And I wanna make the distinguishment right away. St. Petersburg, Florida and St. Pete Beach, Florida are two different areas. Now, they are parallel to each other, but one is on the bay, that's St. Petersburg, and then St. Pete Beach is on the Gulf of Mexico. Those are the distinguishments. Now, St. Pete Beach is regularly voted the number one beach in America, or it makes the list. Now, I think there's some politics involved, you know, what do you think? Is it the best beach in America? I'd love to know, put it down below. Um, but it's on that list with areas like Siesta Key and uh, Clearwater Beach and Madeira Beach. They're constantly fighting over who the best beach in America is, but there's more to it than that. You get the beautiful Don Cesar Hotel and you know this thing because it's pink and it stands out like a sore thumb, except it actually really fits with it. It's got a really old Florida vibe, um, plenty of, of, of resort style living. There's entertainments, you know, bars, restaurants, galore when you're down there. It's just absolutely stunning. And if you're in for something different, you should go check out Fort DeSoto Park. It's a really cool park. You can do some kayaking, check out some history. I think it's worth a look. Now, the thing you need to know about St. Pete Beach is it is not cheap. The median home price at the time of this recording is $1,125,000 for a single family home. That's the median. Basically, that means what it costs just to sniff the lawn over there. I mean, it's not cheap, y'all, but it is absolutely incredible. You should check out St. PB. All right, one of my personal favorites on this list is Hyde Park. And this area here was one of those hidden gems that I didn't know about before we came down, you know, to the area. It, when I heard the name, I was like, what is Hyde Park? I didn't know anything about it. I was basically ignorant to it. And then I took my first trip down to Hyde Park and man, was I blown away. I went down to Bayshore Boulevard and you know, you're looking at downtown Tampa right across the bay. You can see Tampa General Hospital. The homes on Bayshore Boulevard are absolutely incredible. And the neighborhoods, these craftsman style bungalows that just, you know, with the old growth oak trees hanging over the road. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. They've got great restaurants. If you go down to Hyde Park Village, you can literally stay there all day and just shop and dine and do your thing. And it's so incredible. South Tampa is one of the most desirable areas in all of Tampa and it is very attractive for a reason I mean to be able to literally you know jump in a car and be three minutes from downtown from a lightning game or Amelie Arena or the convention center obviously that's attractive you know you're about 40 minutes away from the Gulf beaches it's just a beautiful area and now the cost to live there they reflect all of those conveniences and the location the median home price right now is seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars which does not make it accessible to everyone and i'm going to be honest with you it's pretty much about a million bucks to get in a hyde park for a home that most people would expect you know in terms of quality fit and finish you know absolutely you can find one for cheaper than that that's why there's a median home price but you should expect to pay about a million dollars just to get in a hyde park the next city on our list is West Chase, Florida. And this is a Northern Tampa suburb, great community here. I think it's very unique. Um, you know, we've done a full vlog tour on this before. I'll make sure we link that down below. Actually, we've done a full vlog tour on almost every city here. Um, they're all absolutely incredible and you can't go wrong. And while you're down there, do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button as well. It really does help out the channel. But let's talk about West Chase. I think this area is pretty unique. Um, I think it's very family oriented is the way that I would probably describe this. It is set up for young working professionals too. They do have you know a condominium apartment mixed use in a town center, which I think is really cool. You can check that out in that video I did you know it's not far away from the racetrack which I think is pretty neat it's not crazy far away from the beaches it's super close to downtown Tampa you know within 10 minutes of the airport literally sometimes it could be 15 minutes with traffic but really close um, it's got top rated schools it's close to areas like um, or employers like Raytheon which makes it very attractive I actually really like this city and it's been voted one of the best suburbs in Tampa Right now to buy a home here, it's gonna cost you right around $489,000. Is it worth it? I think it is. I think West Chase is one of those places where it's actually a really good value because you're so close to downtown, but you're also really close to the beach life. I think you should definitely check it out if those things interest you. And what would a list be in Tampa Bay without Clearwater Beach on it? It wouldn't be much of a list, let's be honest. But I do wanna make a distinguishment here as well. Just like St. Petersburg and St. Pete Beach are different, Clearwater Beach and Clearwater are different as well. 
Both are great areas, but Clearwater Beach is that beach that is on the Gulf of Mexico, which is a beautiful little barrier island that you cannot go wrong. It is beautiful sugar sand beaches, white, pristine, you know, crystal clear water. There is entertainment for days, y'all. I mean, between the bars, the restaurants, the shopping, I mean, you can go on dinner tours, you can rent a paddle pub, you can go kayaking, jet skiing, you can do parasailing. If there's something to be done in Clearwater Beach, you can do it. Go out to Pier 60, you can walk the beach, you know, play volleyball. Everything is right there at your fingertips. It's an incredible experience. Whether you live here or not, that's to be seen because the average home here costs about $819,000 to live on Clearwater Beach. That is not a small price to be paid. But when you look at areas like Clearwater Beach or Bel Air Beach, just the south of it, which are both over a million dollars, that's a pretty good value because Clearwater Beach is definitely a destination. We get a ton of calls about buying Airbnbs here in the area. You know, and if you're considering relocating, investing in the area here, this is definitely an, you know something to keep your mind on. Um, if it's pulling you towards it, that's great. Just keep in mind that it does tend to get very busy during the season, you know, from the end of November, especially during spring break, you know, Clearwater can get really busy. So if you're a local, it tends to get a little bit painful during that time period, but most people are willing to sacrifice it because of the quality of life here. Now I'm gonna take you guys up to the northern suburbs here a little bit to a wonderful area called Wesley Chapel. Wesley Chapel is one of those areas where we get a tremendous amount of phone calls about. As a matter of fact, I probably get five to 10 phone calls a week about Wesley Chapel, and there's it's for good reason. Um, if you've never seen the Epperson Lagoon, it is almost like the ninth world wonder. It's unbelievable. Um, it is a seven and a half acre man-made lagoon with white sandy beaches. You can kayak, paddle board, there's cabanas there, there's slides, there's a, a floating obstacle course in your backyard. Their motto is we're bringing the beach to your backyard and they are not wrong. It's absolutely incredible. And Wesley Chapel is about 35 to 50 minutes north of Tampa, depending on where you live in Wesley Chapel. And there's a tremendous amount of amenities in this area. There's an ice rink out there. There's all kinds of park. Um, there's uh, the Pasco Recreation Center is there. You've got the Tampa Premium Outlets, the Grove. There is just so much to do and a lot of newer construction in the area, which is bringing a lot of people here. You know, at the time of this recording, you know, the, the median sales price for a home in Wesley Chapel is right around $425,000. And you can build a four bedroom, you know, ranch 1,800 to 2,000 square feet for right around $450,000 right now. So it is extremely affordable. The amenities are outrageous and that is what's drawing a lot of people to the area. All right, sticking with that suburban theme, we're gonna move out a little bit east of the bay. We're gonna go over to Fishhawk. And Fishhawk was one of the, you know, very first suburban sprawls here, you know, master plan community where people were really trying to move to early, you know, almost 25 years ago. 25 to 20 years ago, Fishhawk Ranch was really developed. They've done a a lot of things since then as well but that's when they kind of planted this master plan community out here and it's got top rated schools you know the real estate values have been holding extremely well out there for a long time plenty of amenities around it as well it's one of those really desirable um, you know uh, suburban areas neighborhoods people talk about Fishhawk Ranch you know that live in, in the Tampa Bay area quite often so if that's on your radar if that's more of your speed maybe you're not in the beaches but you're looking for more a suburban lifestyle you're gonna want to check out Fishhawk Ranch. The median sales price out there is right around $600,000, but you know, it's nothing to see a million dollar home out there. So just keep that in mind. But you know, if you're comparing apples to apples or trying to compare apples to oranges, you know, Wesley Chapel is going to be more affordable for sure. I actually think that there's more amenities in Wesley Chapel, but Fishhawk Ranch is a more well-established neighborhood. So if that is more important to you, I would check that out as well. And the last one on our list is Lakewood Ranch. Now, let me just say this, Lakewood Ranch does not deserve to be in ninth position. Like I said earlier, that is not how this list is laid out. And I'm telling you right now, Lakewood Ranch is incredible. Now, Lakewood Ranch is actually to the south southeast of Tampa Bay. Um, it's more of a part of Sarasota, but it's as close you know, to Tampa as Wesley Chapel is. And I get as many phone calls about Lakewood Ranch as I do as Wesley Chapel. And it is definitely worth taking a look if you're considering moving to the Tampa Bay area. It has been recognized as the number one master plan community in the United States for more than one year. And it is an incredible community. It offers so much. I mean, a lot of newer developments with, you know, the, here's how I could put this. The neighborhood was designed 
um, all ahead of time. Meaning, how are we going to connect this together where even though these are separate neighborhoods, that the overall city will feel like it's connected and joined together. I mean, the walking trails, the biking trails, the outdoor amenities, all of these things tie back together communally. The downtown area, Waterside, where you've got farmers markets and outdoor events that are taking place all the time. It was really designed to be lived outdoors, even though you're going home every night. You know, the pools, the dog parks, there's just so much to do. And I've made videos about Lake, Lakewood Ranch and I would strongly encourage you to go check it out because this community is absolutely incredible. Now, it is definitely on the pricier side. You know, again, we're gonna be looking in that $600,000 range, you know, to buy a three bedroom, two bath home in Lakewood Ranch. And a majority of the homes that are being built are four bedrooms plus, you know, so those things now we're talking about 700 to 800,000. So just keep that on your radar when you're looking at this area. But you know, if you're looking for, you know, incredible amenities, access to University Mall, um, you know, Sarasota beaches, you know, Tampa Bay, you know, this is a place that you definitely want to check out because it is absolutely stunning. You know, we were just down there with clients last week checking it out and we went over to Pop Stroke, which just opened. And if you've ever been to Top Golf before, that driving range where, you know, they've got, you know, a, a restaurant on site and you get your, it's just an awesome place to go. Well, Tiger Woods looked at that, I think, and said, hey, I want to do my own thing. And they made like the adult version of Putt Putt. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, right? But it is awesome. You should go check it out. It's another really cool amenity. You know, when you live in Lakewood Ranch, you have access to. So I think it's worth checking out, y'all. All right, as promised, I wanted to tell you where I live, right? Because you're like, Juan, you know, you sell real estate and you're not even sharing where you live. Well, I wanna share that with you. Um, my home beach is the furthest Western point in Pinellas County. Um, it is absolutely stunning. We were ruined the first time we ever stepped foot on this beach and it's Indian Rocks Beach. And we love this place. Uh, two lanes not four, it's really tight. There's no public parking structure, so that makes it where it's difficult for you know a tremendous amount of people to congregate. We don't have high rises. Well, that's not true. There, there are a couple high rise buildings, but they don't let you build them anymore. And for the most part, when you're crossing over our bridge from Largo, where I live, I live just over the Indian Rocks Beach Bridge down to Indian Rocks Beach, you can see you know the beach line and it's absolutely gorgeous. We have some of the most beautiful sunsets in the world, I believe. And I I haven't been everywhere, y'all, so just keep that, you know, take that with a uh, humongous grain of Himalayan salt, but we love it. The community has just been absolutely incredible for our family. You know, the quality of life here has just been absolutely stunning. And if you're considering making that move, buying, selling, or relocating to the Tampa Bay area, do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team. We'd love to make this dream a reality for you as well. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.